Yeah, you know, there uh, spring has sprung for a lot of the uh, plants out there and flowers, of course, but this is the time of the year where you might have already seen some of these weather alerts for you. Nothing of which that are going to cause any major concern, but for plant lovers especially, you know, now's the time where a lot of people get the itch to put some stuff outside, get some flowers. Just be careful of what you have because we are looking at frost advisories that have began for some of our counties far to the south. That's something that, again, is going to continue as the growing season continues to go on and as we get cold temperatures throughout the spring season. So just a reminder again, you want to bring those plants indoors or at the very least cover them with a sheet or a cloth. Definitely not plastic because you could actually even further harm the plants than help them whenever you use plastic because you get some of the moisture that builds up and it could potentially freeze when those temperatures get pretty cold out there. And due to the, all the rain that we saw to the southeast, of course, suspending play for the masters, the clouds associated with that system were able to reach all the way up into northern Ohio, which offered us just some cloudy skies through the first half of the day today and into the early part of the evening, but you can start to see those clouds starting to move on out to the south and east. So we're going to continue to see some clearing into the night and with those temperatures likely going to fall further into the 30s later tonight. So again, another reason why we do have those frost advisories in effect. They haven't taken effect just yet in parts of central Ohio because statistically this time of the year we're really not out of the gates just yet. So another reason just maybe hold back a little bit on some of those uh, planting plans, but we are looking at some comfortable conditions out there this evening. Temperatures hanging out into the 50s. Why Watch as we head into the rest of the evening. Notice we'll start to see these clouds move to the south and east. We're going to continue to see clearing into the overnight. That's going to set the stage with relatively calm winds. Temperatures tomorrow morning. It is going to be a pretty cold start to the day for us as we head into your Easter Sunday. So if you are going to be doing any Easter egg hunts, have the kiddos outside. You definitely want to make sure that they are bundled up. Probably even need the winter gear because temperatures, even in some spots, will likely be below freezing for a few hours. And then going into the mid-morning hours, we will get into the 40s, but still pretty chilly out with those clear skies and then as we head into the afternoon we'll get a light breeze out of the east those temperatures will easily climb into the low 60s for us so a more seasonable day for your Sunday and then staying dry and that's essentially it for our weather just as far as each day it's going to be essentially a carbon copy of one another but we will start to warm up and again pretty chilly for your Easter Sunday morning but those temperatures will be warming up nicely into the low to mid 60s for us and again the time of the year might be a contemplating on taking care of the yard getting the first mow the season in well it is looking pretty good over the next several days and that's going to be thanks to high pressure that's going to allow for dry conditions heading into a long stretch next week we're talking temperatures then climbing from the low to mid 60s all the way to near 80 degrees for us as we head into the end of the work week we will be looking at a low chance for some rain with a system that will be moving through to the south and east late next week but for now it's looking like things will be nice and dry Plenty of dry days, or as Dave likes to say, plenty of golf days ahead That's in the right. seven-day <laughs> forecast. We have temperatures easily into the 70s by Tuesday and then low 80s heading into next week. And again, Friday into Sunday next week. Not the best timing for the weekend, of course, but we do have a nice dry stretch ahead with just a small chance of rain heading into late next week.